Now, as you work on your application, at some point, you're going to need to add some images. So let's go over how we would go about doing so. So first of all, let me just simplify this a little bit. Let me just remove this, remove this. And I'm not going to use state on this. And for now, we'll just say something like hello right there. So at this point, that's what we got. Hello. Now let's try to bring over a couple of pictures here. So I'm just going to drag them over here. To keep this a little organized, maybe I'll add a folder here. I'll call this images. So this is that folder within this main folder. That's where I am. And within this, let's add a couple of pictures. So I'm just going to drag them over. Okay, good. Now let's try to display this bear's picture right below this paragraph. So first I'm going to just add a div and within this div, I'm going to want that image. So I'm going to do image tag and we'll use some sort of source. Do remember to do this closing because we are in JSX. One thing you need to know is that if you try to just point to this picture from here, it's not going to work. So if I try to do current folder images and then bears dot JPEG, go back and take a look at this. See, we got position for the image, but it doesn't load the image. And the reason for that is because this local host is pointing to our public directory. And we basically said in our public directory, we should have images directory and in that images directory, we should have this picture right here. But none of this is actually our public directory right here. All these files are being processed by parser right now. And then we get this dist folder. And this is where our files in public directory pretty much are. So if you look here, that image doesn't exist here. There's no images folder, there's no picture in there. So how do we make this work? So what we can do, we can use URL constructor to get a reference to that image. Now, let me give you an example. So we're going to do this new variable, we're going to call this bears picture, you can call it whatever you want. And then I'm going to use this URL constructor. And within this constructor, we're going to pass our first variable being the path to our image, which is going to be this. And as a base, we're going to use import meta URL. Once we import this to this variable, we can then go here and output that variable and in JSX to output a JavaScript variable, we use this brackets, and we're going to do our bears picture right there, save this. If I go back and take a look, see, I got that picture. As you can see, it's pretty huge. If I go back to this disk now, see there's this file called bears dot something something dot JPEG. And if I go and take a look at our HTML here and inspect it, you'll see that it points to that picture. So localhost slash and then the bears dot that picture. And if you look at that picture, that's 3024 pixels by 4032 pixels, which is basically the original size of this giant picture. Now let's add some CSS to basically handle this size. So it doesn't go outside of our windows. So let's create that CSS file. So again, just to have this organized, I'm going to create a CSS folder within this main folder. As you can see that went in the wrong spot, I'm going to drag it over here. So now CSS on a main level as everything else, 
we should probably move all of this stuff to some sort of SRC folder or source folder. But for now, this is good enough. So I'll go to the CSS, create a CSS file. And here I'll just do a rule for all the images to have a maximum size of the container. Like that. So at this point, this CSS file is not going to do anything because it's really not used anywhere in our project. So in order for us to use the styles.css file, I'm going to go to my component and import that file. And the way we do that, we simply just import that CSS file. We directly just link to the file. So that's in the current folder, in CSS folder, and then the file is called styles.css. Like so, linking to this CSS file. I'm going to save this, go back and take a look. And as you can see now, at least it stops here instead of being that uncontrolled size. Now we could also add some classes. And we have to use class name in JSX. So I can go now and style this. And that should now see, have this picture here. Now next, let's try to do a background picture. So I'm going to go here. So let's just put a div around this whole thing. And I'm going to close that after all of this. So basically, we're going to have that hello. And we're going to have this div with a picture inside of this big div on top. And I'm going to give this a class. Let's actually do a section here just to have some HTML5. So now I want to target this section right here. So we'll go to our CSS. And for now, let's just do some background color. Let's go take a look. So as you can see, that covers this entire area. I'm going to add some padding to that. Good enough. Let's just clear our default margins and paddings on top here so it's not confusing. And if you're not familiar with this star, that just means every element on the page. So we'll grab everything and by default, just set margins and paddings to zero. And then later we'll set them to whatever we actually want. So now we can actually decide what they are. But for me, I don't really care about it. What I do care about is how do I add a background image instead of this color? So I'm going to do background image. And in CSS, usually you just do your URL here, and then you point to your image. Interestingly, we can actually do it in this parcel project. So we can again do our current folder. Actually, that's not our current folder because the styles, see the CSS, that's the folder in our current folder. Our images is here one level up. So we're going to do two dots to go one level up, then images, and then we have our landscape picture right there. Save it and go back and take a look and see we got that picture. And again, by default, it's going to be a very large picture. So we can now just set the size for that picture. So maybe we'll just use cover or something. Let's see what it looks like. So now we got this background picture here, we got this picture there. And again, if we look at our dist folder, see that's going to have that picture copied over here. And then if we go and take a look, in our HTML, we'll see that we got this head section. 
which is linking to the CSS file. And that CSS file is copied here too. And then in that CSS file, if we just go to it, so I'm going to press command and click on this file. So it opens that you'll see that this is the final version converted. And this is what it did. So we don't have that dot images, whatever it automatically just has the link to our current folder for that landscape JPEG file. Now this is going to be different depending on which processor you use, right? So for example, here we use parcels to actually bundle all the stuff. Now you could have used whatever comes with react by default. You may be using Webpack. So in those cases, it's going to be a little different from case to case. And the idea is going to be that no matter which one you use, you need to understand that if you just pass a hard coded string here, that will be interpreted basically a hard coded string. So if you put an actual link of some sort, then it will direct to that link. If you do some sort of a relative thing, like just enter the name of the file, or maybe do this, so you have a folder and in that folder you have a file, then this would mean, again, it will literally just output this in your HTML, meaning it's going to look in your public folder for images folder, and then bears.jpg file. So you may notice, for example, with the regular configuration with React, if you use create React project or whatever it's called, if you don't use parcels, then it's going to have a public folder. Basically, that public folder is where your local host is pointing to. So in that case, if you just put your images in that images folder inside of that public folder and you put your files there, it should work with that configuration. So just understand that this is just literal link and you would have to figure out how to handle that. Or the second option is to do an import of some sort and then use the variable, which is what we did in this case. Now, in case of parcel, we use this URL constructor to get this done. With other bundlers, you may need to use something else to import that picture. So for example, uh, with regular React configuration, you would be probably doing something like this instead. You would just say bears picture from this. The dot would refer to your SRC folder in the regular configuration. Now in our case, we're using parcel bundler, so we're just gonna go with this. And there you have it. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.